of it, they will kill you. You can say, well, that's not going to happen. Really? I don't care whether it's Peter Thiel or Ted Turner. They're all obsessed with life extension. They're all obsessed with one world government and merging with cybernetic technologies. And why wouldn't they be obsessed with it? Everything that Galton envisioned in 1855 has basically been realized. So I got to hand it to the British royal family and the Rothschilds that put their money behind the Galton plan that all major modern sciences now basically come out of. He didn't just invent biometrics and eugenics. He basically started the whole program because he had the funding over the British Royal Academy, the most powerful academy in the world then and probably now. And our world is, to a great extent, the competition between free humanity and what we've built and what the globalists have built or hijacked that we built. So there's two parallel systems operating, but now the technocracy is finally on its legs. It's not a baby anymore. It's a 14-year-old man. And it's about to be a 20-year-old man and then a 40-year-old man in its prime that is ready to go. And free humanity is in a poison stupor in the ditch, rolling around vomiting, basically. While right next to us is growing the power force that is going to strangle us. And in the scheme of time, if you want the allegory, the 14-year-old is walking across the street to where we're in the ditch, and every step he takes, he's a year older and bigger. And by the time he gets to us, we're in a lot of trouble. And he's already gotten to us. We're obsessed. We're being programmed by the iPhones, the little computers that spy on us and track everything we do. The grid's already gone in our houses. We're already eating the GMO. The chemicals are being added to our food. We're being manipulated and controlled all on record. They admit the entire plan. And they think the public is so stupid, we won't wake up to it. <sighs> and I'm going to tie all this in today with middle class decline looms over final years of Obama presidency. Got to get rid of that middle class. They're uppity. They are a stepping stone for the poor to become lower middle class, middle class, upper middle class, nouveau riche, wealthy established so the great consolidation is now happening and it is the one-tenth of one percent or roughly six thousand elitist and less than 20 families in henry kissinger's own organization's analysis superclass written by the head of the kissinger group at the time rothkop and i agree with this analysis six thousand superclass we did the math it's Something like zero, 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 what was it, 0. 0.42? It's not 1%, it's a fraction of 1%. That is waging all-out jihad, all-out crusade, an all-out holy war on any independent system, the family, any independent wealth, anything private that you don't want known, that's got to be known. This is a full domination, a usurpation, a conquering. We face an organized scientific takeover that, as I've said, might as well be a deep space alien attack. If I was an advanced species and I wanted to take over the planet and just kind of get rid of humans without wrecking everything in a big war... If you frontally attacked 7 billion people, even if you had super advanced technology, it'd tear everything up with the humans fighting in their death throes. But if you, if you took them over this way with compromised leaders, a they-live scenario, poison the water, the food, the culture, get kids addicted to computers, interfacing, proto-matrix, into matrix, uh, the plan would actually work. And I'm not saying it's deep space aliens, like David Icke's saying, or he's saying interdimensional. I'm not saying it's that. It just might as well be that. I mean, that's what we're facing, total extermination. But first, they're going to exterminate our minds, our will, because they have metaphysical rules. They, they are not allowed to kill a conscious human.
who hasn't joined their club or who hasn't agreed to their program. It's a metaphysical rule. They have to either get us to join them so we can be destroyed or dest have us destroy ourselves through choices so we're no longer human, then they can kill us. Search who they are and what they want, and they're quite public about their plan for you and I. And let me just say, it's not a very nice plan. And I don't know why the average person gets violently angry if their neighbor's dog craps in their yard. Or if you catch the neighbor's teenager stealing a six-pack of beer out of your garage. I remember one time I had neighbors down the street whose dad's gotten a huge fist fight because one of the teenagers stole beer out of his garage. And the police came, everything. I look back on that. Would grown men fight when the globalists write books about how they put poison in the water to brain damage and lower their children's IQ? No, it's the government. Let's just trust them when they're doing that. See, that's what I mean. It's, it, it's, we're just here comfortably taking it all. I'm going to break down the real elite, what their plan is, how it ties into the middle class, disappearing, according to Reuters, under Obama. We'll look at how that ties into this Japan Times article. Richest 1% will hold half of global wealth by 2016. It's a tiny percentage of that that actually holds half the wealth. And if you count all the derivatives, well, they hold a lot more than that. So we're going to be breaking that down and tying it into a special report video up on Infowars.com by Mark Dice. Some Americans think Martin Luther King just died, first African-American to walk on the moon. Remember uh, Angela Merkel, the Deutsch Chancellor? Well, the German Chancellor marched days after she tried to ban anti-open borders, anti-globalist, anti-Germans having to pay for all the welfare of the illegals. Uh, Germany is a first stop for criminals. Aggravated criminals around the world are allowed into Germany by the socialists and organized into brigades to then become the social workers and rule over the Germans who are too prideful to be basically government minions. Well, German police ban anti-Islamic rally. Again, German police ban anti-Islamic rally, citing terror threat. French news agency, for your safety, the nationalist groups are not allowed to go out with their German flags and say that they don't want completely open borders. And so they had riot police come out and break it up and stop it. There you go. Yes, stand up for free speech of Charlie Hebdo when France and other countries are banning free speech under EU. First, it's don't deny the Holocaust. And sure, that's unsavory, but people should be allowed to deny it if they want to. Then now they're saying don't deny global warming. Well, global warming is natural. So is cooling. The only constant is change. Now they call it climate change. If you deny that, they want you arrested. And fines are actually being levied in Europe because they have a right in Europe not to be flooded, you see, and not to die in a catastrophic you know, world calamity because of the uh, climate. And so they're moving towards restricting free speech across the board and calling for Lord Moncton's arrest. Well, now German police ban anti-Islamic rally citing terror threat. Notice how AFP builds it like it's anti-Islamic. The truth is it's pretty mainline, right-wing nationalist, getting very popular, winning a lot of seats in the German Reichstag or their parliament. German police banned a planned rally by anti-Islamic PEGIDA movement and other public open-air gatherings in the eastern city of Dresden Monday, citing a terrorist threat. It's for their safety. It's, quote, patriotic Europeans against the Islamization of the country. And they, Occident. And they protest open borders and criminals being brought into the country. Sounds familiar. Uh, they've got Democratic congressmen out, Gutierrez and others today, saying it's a Selma moment to open the borders to all of Latin America. Really, I can't go to Latin America and get free health care. I can't go there and get in-state tuition. This is pure bull. We're going bankrupt. But they make it, oh, you're anti-Latin American because you don't want totally open borders. Ab absolutely. I don't want to be Mexico or Guatemala. Have you been down there?
I wish nothing but the great future to all those people. Like the Rod Stewart song, Forever Young, man. That's what I want for everybody. But I'm here to tell you, I'm not going to pay for everything because I'm white. I'm not guilty. I hadn't done jack squat. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network.